Walk me through, I, I was lucky enough to be um, a teammate of Luke's uh, a few years ago, and then uh, you went back to Adelaide, went home to Adelaide for three very, very good years. Walk me through the off-season and the decision to come back to the Crocodile. Um, yeah, it was, I don't know if serendipitous is the word. Oh. Um, anyone, anyone. <laughs> but, uh, it could have been. Uh, yeah, uh, the situation with Adelaide um, was uh, great, great down there. You know, um, I actually went down there uh, when Marty White was coaching, and he got the sack after my first year, and Joe White, before I came in. I uh, had a great couple of years with him, and then just this off season, um, sat down and talked with him, and you know, I was kind of didn't know which way to go. Um, yeah, his system was kind of different than the. Um, what for him was my style of play and what worked well for me and um, I kind of had a few questions about whether to come back to his team or not his system and he had the same question about me and then I uh, actually just got a phone call um, from Andrew Gissinger and Sean Dennis and talking to them about the way the club's headed uh, talking to Andrew for a while about the whole administration and, and everyone that's come on board and everything that's happened here in Townsville um, just got them really excited and kind of got my you know, got the fire burning inside me, and I'm really excited to hear what's going on here. And um, felt like it was a great situation for him, Sean. And um, you know, working with all these young guys, um, you know, I just thought it was, you know, meant to be. It felt like it was meant to be. So um, it was really no decision at all. I jumped on board straight away and was all for it. I jest. I do know what serendipity means, and that is serendipity as well. Say that again, Ross. So, uh, so um, when uh, you and I were teammates, uh, we had a bit of an older group, um, but, but obviously with this group, youngest team in the NBL, um, you completely ruined the bell curve for that. Um, how's your role changed since you were last year? Because uh, last time, I'll, I always speak honestly, but there are a lot of other leaders, sort of a lot of other people doing all a lot of the talking, and, and you were just the main focus. You were just the number one focus. Roll it into Luke, and everything worked off Luke, and it worked brilliantly for us. You, we all jumped on that rickety old back of yours, and you carried us all the way to the semi-finals, one game short, and and it was just beautiful to watch. Um, club MVP and everything. Has your role changed all, or are you or are you still just gonna give me the rock and get out of the way? I'm the leader now, I'm going to SD and everyone else give me the ball and get out of the way. <laughs> um, no, I mean, you know, that, that's, that's part of it, but, um, you know, having guys um, to be able to work with um, has been great, you know, just, um, I haven't really had a chance to kind of play with guys a lot in this pre-season, um, but when I have, it's been really exciting just to um, see what all these guys can do and, um, you know, we've got some great point guards, great young, young kids, so, um, you know, working with the big guys, just doing our stuff down the other end and everything, it's been really exciting to see, um, you know, and yeah, just really looking forward to getting out there and working with everyone. I think that 10 minutes after practice, hands in after practice, maybe some people don't know the guards will often go and shoot, and I think if you could grab Nick Kay by the throat and say, come on young fella, I'll teach you how to be a pro, I think that'll go, abs I think he should just be lapping that up, if that's my humble opinion, Nick. Get on, the, get on board. Um, last <laughs> question, I promise. Shenshi, you missed. I, I was lucky enough, Wednesday night, you uh, were amazing at the Blitz. Just awesome. Um, and then miss the rest of the preseason games. What's the story? Are you going to be all right Friday, October 9th? Yeah, good to go. Just had a bit of a up with the old car. Just an old injury. Um, but had scans and it's all clear. So, um, yeah, we'll be fine. Um, and uh, we'll be willing to go for Friday night. Two weeks out from the season, you just sort of slow it down a little. It's, it's veteran move, veteran move. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the leader of the crop. Club.